today we're going to look at patterns and sequences with addition and subtraction of decimals. So we're going to look at this first pattern sequence and the very first thing we want to do is determine if these numbers are increasing or decreasing. 10.2 and then you end up with a 15, the whole number 15. So we notice that this is an increase. So that's our step one. Notice if it's increasing or decreasing. We determine that it is increasing. Step two is we want to look at any two numbers that are side by side in this sequence and find the difference between the two numbers in order to find a rule. All right, so let's just take these two numbers to start with, 10.2 and 11.4 and subtract these two numbers, okay? When you subtract, this is the rule. All right, so on the rule, because we notice that the sequence is increasing, the rule is not just 1.2, but it is to add 1.2. You can write it like that, or you can write the word add 1.2. Let's apply this rule to another couple numbers, let's make sure that it actually works in this sequence. So let's take 11.4 and let's apply the rule of adding 1.2. 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 1 is 2, bring down your 1. Now, it worked, didn't it? So that confirms that the rule is add 1.2. So you can continue with this pattern and we can add 1.2 to this number 12.6. All right, so let's do it. 1.2 plus 12.6 is 13. Point eight. So in this pattern, we found the missing term, okay? Now, let's talk about that word term. A term is a number in the sequence. So here's the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. So we found the fourth term in the pattern of 13.8. All right, so in this example, we also want to find the rule and we want to see what the missing term is. So notice that the pattern is decreasing. All right, let's take two numbers that are side by side. Let's try these two, 29 and let's subtract 26.7. Make sure that the decimals are lined up and do your subtraction. Okay, so our rule is subtract 2.3 because we are, it's a decreasing pattern. Let's apply this rule to this number over here and just confirm that this is the rule. 35.9 and minus 2.3. All right, so it's in line with the pattern, isn't it? So this confirms the rule of subtract 2.3. So now we can just continue and continue this pattern applying the rule of subtract 2.3. And so we can fill in 31 Point three as our missing term. All right, so when you have a problem like this and you're given where to start the pattern and you're given where the rule is, then you just begin your pattern. So the question is asking us to complete the first four terms in the pattern. So we're gonna draw four blanks. One, two, three, and four. 
will fill in the first number because this is where it begins. And this is your first term. We're going to apply the rule of add 3.4. So we'll start with 41.2 and add 3.4. Okay, here's our second term of 44 and 6 tenths. Now let's find the third term. Starting with 44.6, apply the rule and it's the whole number 48. Okay. So let's take 48 and we're going to add the rule of 3 and 4 tenths. And to fill in the fourth term, 51 and 4 tenths. So this is how we would complete it if you're given a start point and you're already given a rule. Just apply the rule and complete the pattern. So in this last example, we're given the problem of completing this sequence. We want to find the sixth term, okay? So we have the first three that are given. So let's go ahead and draw our blanks for the fourth term, the fifth term, and the sixth term. And this is where we're going to end because this is what this is what our answers, our final answer is going to be. All right, so just like we have in the past, let's can look at the sequence and see, is it increasing or decreasing? You see that it's increasing. All right, so when we're um, finding our rule, we know it's gonna be add something, right? Because of that increase. Let's look at two numbers side by side. All right. So let's start with 63 and let's subtract 61.9, okay? All right, so our rule is add one and one tenths. Now let's confirm the rule. 63, adding 1 and 1 tenth. And make sure your decimal is in the right spot. So it confirms it. It worked, didn't it? All right. So now we can finish the pattern and we can apply the rule of add 1.1. Now let's apply the rule and complete the pattern. 64.1 and let's add 1.1. All right, so this is our next number in the sequence. So the next place, 65.2, and let's apply the rule, adding one and one tenths. Sixty-six and three tenths. So for the last one, for the sixth term, apply the rule one more time. And we end with sixty-seven and four tenths. All right. So we determined that it's increasing. We subtracted two numbers side by side, and then we found the rule of add 1.1, and we just continued the pattern to the sixth term. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.